My name is Jordan, and I am from Burke. Words are hard. You can't tell me that my scars aren't exquisite as they trace the story of my life in an elegant map on my body. You can't tell me that my stretch marks aren't graceful, seeming like squiggling caterpillars racing towards an unconventional finish line. You can't tell me that my freckles aren't divine as they anoint the back of my neck in stunning constellations. Wait, I'm sorry, did I say can't? Because I meant can. You can and do tell me these things. You don't. Well, every one of the 13 Victoria's Secret advertisements, every one of the 36 commercials on TV, every one of the 29 glares I have received in the past two days say otherwise. They plant their way into my brain like serpents and plant the idea in my head that somehow, in some way, I am not good enough. I am trapped in my body. I am trapped in your perception of my body. Women are expected to dress to these expectations, but when we do, we are criticized and assaulted, labeled sluts or whores, and they say, what were you wearing? I wore what society told me to. Women are expected to be compassionate, but when we are, we are mocked and ridiculed, labeled emotional, and they say, why don't you trust me? How can I? How can I trust anyone when sexist comments manage to snake their way into every conversation? We are not all born fighters, some of us not meant for the ring. I take to the ring, but my body is made of glass. I land a punch, maybe two, and just when I think I might have a chance, you shatter a part of me and another. And every piece of me that you break, you smash, leaves me fractured. So when I look at myself, I can only see broken pieces. But I am telling you now, you can pummel me until my fragments are finer than sand. But I guarantee that no matter what you make me think of myself, I will never allow you to do that to someone else. The female body was perfect at creation. And somehow in this age, in this nation, being a woman is a downright embarrassment. Unless you have a tiny waist in comparison. On behalf of women anywhere, I respectfully disagree with these inappropriate, unrealistic, impossible standards. Because of these standards, the female body is slandered. I know good men are out there. I see them every day. They're my dad, my friends. They keep my anger at bay. When someone comes up, says something offensive, they hold me back when I start to get defensive. I'm saying you're not better than me because OY chromosome do not brag to me about higher levels of testosterone. <coughs> Words are so hard, guys. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I will not surrender. I will not stand down. I remain armed, aimed, ready. Shoot me with the ammo you have. I remain steady until women stop being objects from the moment of their birth and become people, humans, a way that above all they have worth. So guys, keep your opinions. All your beliefs, there you go, you're safe. Breathe your sigh of relief. You can have your opinions, accept no resistance from me, as long as you don't insult my existence. Thank you. Yeah.